everyone, it's Lexi Jensen and welcome to Future Play. And today we're going to be talking with a really great FPV drone racing pilot, Mako Reactra. I have more FPV pilots for you. Hello, Mako. How are you doing? Hi, Lexi. I'm doing really well. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's really great to have you. And we're always, you know, into the girl power and Mach 1 pilots because we're fans, obviously, everyone here at Future Play. Uh, we're all actually just rooting for Mach 1 all the time, just saying. It's Thank a lot you. of fun. It's a lot of fun. So I have a couple of questions for you, especially for all of the aspiring pilots who want to start with FPV. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself, just so we know who you are, where you came from? Yeah, um, I've been flying since the end of 2017. I started with Tiny Loops and immediately got into racing. And when the snow melted, I picked up a five inch and learned how to fly that. And I've been racing ever since. I've raced in a lot of multi-GP championship races. I've raced at the World Games in 2022, representing the United States. Um, and I'm racing with DCL right now on Mach 1. So uh, I think that takes up the majority of my time is racing, but I do love to freestyle a little bit, long range, tiny loop, like I said, cine loop. And I'm an educator, so I'm teaching kids how to fly drones um, in my spare yes. time. <laughs> so I'm very busy, <clears throat> but yeah. it's a good busy, it's fun. It's fun. What got you into racing? Like not everyone is just like, oh, I'm gonna race this thing. Like, it's a <laughs> tiny loop, because the, the thing is tiny, and you guys can see it on your screen right now. It's like tiny, tiny thing. How would you think like, oh, can I raise those? Yeah, um, tiny loop is a great way to start flying. So I would recommend that for anybody because they're really durable and they have ducts around the propellers. So they're very safe. You can fly them inside. Um, so that just naturally made sense. And we went to a hobby shop, which my hub husband, excuse me, grew up going to, which is so ironic. And they were holding <laughs> tiny whoop races. And we went in and they gave me their goggles and let me try it out. Um, we already had gear, but they had better gear than our gear. Um, so I immediately got addicted to racing. But I think um, I love racing because um, I don't really want the freedom of going wherever I want to go for some reason. Like that creativity is just daunting to me and overwhelming. I really love having like a track where I have to hit certain lines and I have to perfect that line and like, you know, constantly shave seconds off of it to get better. That that's really enjoyable for me. I am maybe yeah. a little competitive. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit but also it's like the thing that you can actually see your progress with racing totally. like with freestyle you just fly a little bit around and it's pretty sure but did you make any progress like most of the videos that people like on instagram is just a straight line going down the hill or something like this there is no progress in that well when you do racing you can literally see like oh i did this thing better or uh i'm in the finals all of a sudden for the first time in my life like i had to get better somewhere so I think it's also the, uh, the, the whole thing of, wow, I see some actual progress there. Yeah, that makes sense. And in racing, I think the maneuvers are getting closer to freestyle flying. So um, true. like diving things and doing corkscrews, power loops, Ooh. you know, I think we're getting closer to freestyle. So I That's think it true. helps. It's I think doing both can benefit any pilot. Do you think racing will change into something like a fast freestyle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In the simulators, it seems that way. Um, That's true. Oh my gosh, the new tracks, every time I see, I'm like, is this like a sequence training or is it race? <laughs> yeah, who knows where it will go. I'm excited to see the racing in the Middle East and, and how that turns out and if it will propel the sport even further. Yeah. So. Speaking of, speaking of, Middle East, uh, we're going to DCL and uh, can you tell us what are you going to be doing there? Because we're going with Future Play, so... Um. Yeah, um, DCL is having their split one final in Abu Dhabi. So eight teams were competing and the top six are going. Mach 1 did not make the top six, but we are invited, Hologram, who's on the team and myself, are invited to go to run simulator booths, so educating the public. You know, I do have that education background, so I think that will mm. lend on that pretty well. 
and we'll be doing social media and we might be teaching a workshop. But the whole event <clears throat> is with Drift Dex, um, which is really exciting because they do a uh, future of, it's basically the future of smart and autonomous urban mobility. So like air taxis, um, auto autonomous cars, autonomous yeah. boats. Um, they're even having some a race car there that is like the world's first autonomous race car. And well, that actually, will be I don't the... know if you knew, but yeah. uh, during our race in DCL, uh, there's going to be the first in the world uh, futuristic self-driving cars race. They are using yeah. the, those cars. So I'm kind of like, I want to be on this race, but I want to be on DCL, but I want to be on both <laughs> at the same time. I know, I'm hoping there's time to get away from the booth a little bit to check some of these events out because that car, it, I looked it up, it goes like 300 kilometers an hour um, yeah. and it's with the Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League and it's at Yaz yes. Marina. So that marina, that that venue is in video games. So it's, it's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, do you race anything else or is it just the drones, just the tiny whoops? Are you interested in anything else? That's right. Um, that's pretty much it. I've done a little RC truck, but that was more for fun, not you know racing or anything. So yeah, I would say just drones. <laughs> okay, that's good. How does your training look like to get into a team such as Mark One for DCL? I do a lot of training at my house. I set up tracks in my backyard, and I'm hoping to get some, I have a Mavic, so I'm hoping to get some footage of my backyard and import it into Velocidrone. I know you know a lot about Velocidrone, so maybe you could be a resource. I'd love to put my tracks on Velocidrone in my backyard and see if people could fly them and also fly them myself in real life. Um, so I do backyard practice. Do you think that's mm. possible? I think, yeah, I think absolutely. Although it always takes so much time to build those tracks in Velocity Drone, it's just yeah. insane. Yeah, I have no experience doing that. Tool. They need an easier tool to be fun. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll <clears throat> I'll get, a t get in touch with you and I'm closer to doing that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, regarding the training, how often do you train per week? I try. It depends on if I'm teaching. So I have the summers off. So in the summers, you know, I have that freedom. I fly a lot more. I fly multiple mm. days a week, multiple packs a day. Um, I'm not like MCK or anything, flying hundreds of packs at once. I don't even have the resources for that. Yeah, that's crazy. But I'm flying, I try to fly like between six to 10 when I have a good amount of time. And then mm. if I'm after school, you know, it gets dark. It's getting dark later now, which is nice. So I can probably get four or five packs in in the evening. Um, but we Ooh. just, our snow just melted. We had some freak blizzards happen in the spring. So we had to spend the whole weekend like removing branches and limbs. So now I'm ready to set yeah. up the track finally. But I still have broken quads from last October from Champ, so I need to repair. So I have a lot to do. Um, but I also train on the simulator with DCL. I do a little bit of Velocidrone, um, especially when the global qualifier, which has already been released, is out. Then I can practice that specific track because you get globally ranked on that track. And that determines if you can go to champs or not. So that's a really important one to practice. And then, of course, I race with the guys um, in my chapter. I say guys because I'm the only female. But we race in... Uh, a few different states in New England here in the United States and we are a real we put a real team effort into it. We're all organizing and building the tracks together. So it's, that's a lot that's of fun really to do. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what are the planned events for you for this year? Do you have any plans? Are you going to International Open or any other <laughs> events? I wish I could go to the International Open. I haven't been able to go for a few years. Uh, they have it in June and it's always the end of my school year. and this year it's like the last week of school and I really can't miss the last week of school. Oh, that's, that's one sucks. of the most important weeks to be there. Yeah, right? Exactly. So which, not for me this year. What date is it? Uh, I don't even know. I think it's like June 13th, maybe. Okay. Oh. Oh, Are you gosh. going to the International Open this year? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm, I'm bummed if you are in a way because I wouldn't get to see you, but also very excited if you get to go. <laughs> yeah, I would probably go as media only, to be fair. Right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that I'm slowly retiring from racing. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah. any other events I'm going to, I hope to go to Champs again this year. Um, those are the only ones I really know about right now. Hmm, so there's no, no magic events happening anytime soon. No, just this Abu Dhabi one, and you know they have Champs scheduled. I I don't even know if they have Champs scheduled, but it's usually in October or November. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, okay, last but not least, uh, we're talking here all the time Machina sports, so everything that's human and the machine. Are you excited for any other sports? Have you seen any other sports? Uh, I don't know, flying cars, jet suits, the autonomous cars. I'm into that. Like, I want to do this. Uh, so, anything else? I mean, it's into? all so intriguing. At my school, they put me on the AI committee. So I'm doing a little research at this event that we're going to to learn more about that because I know AI is just going to be in everything, including education. But I'm thrilled to see it all. The jet suits look really cool. The race cars look really cool. You know, the Evitols scare the hell out of me. But and air taxis, like we are living sci-fi movies pretty soon, huh? Yeah, right. <clears throat> it's getting really excited. I mean. Damn, uh, like 10, 20 years ago, if you told me that I would be checking out a flying car, I would just look at you and be like, sure. I know. I will, yeah. So but it, I read there is an drone. ambulance drone uh, they were talking about. They have ambulance drones too. I know that's not a sport, but that's pretty cool. They deliver medical supplies and organs. Oh. Um, so they're supposed to be at the event too. I'm not sure the name of the company. Oh, we're, we're gonna go and check it out, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. What do you think actually like can drone racing, drone freestyle, FPV in general, all the EVTOLs and all the Machina sports actually put something into our normal lives, which we are living? I think there's no stopping it really. I think the merge with tech and humans is getting like more extreme every day Get into for the works. better or worse. Um, I guess we'll find out. Um, it'll be a really interesting journey. Okay. Thank you very much then and we're gonna see you in Abu Dhabi because I'm gonna be there with a lot of vlogging gear and we're gonna totally hang out. I cannot wait for doing this Me and too. I'm gonna leave all of the links to all of your social media down below in the description box. So go guys and follow Mako Re Reactra. I'm always having a problem to say that. I know, just say Mako, that's fine. <laughs> Mako, yeah, go and follow Mako. Thank you very much guys for watching and we're gonna see you in the next one from Abu Dhabi in DCL. Yes. Bye! Bye!